Sitting in the balcony of my thoughts this morning, with folded legs and hands clasped in supplication, I refuse to cut up my tongue for lies to set me free, nor blind my eyes to give darkness its relevance. I will let this skin bear in the sun for all to see, no matter how much it burns. At the back of Agri Quarters are three temples, with proximity of the fingers and are done. I am awakened by the loudest megaphone and chants calling on all faithful to bow as the sky opens its eyes. It has been this way for the past three decades of my life, yet the pile of atrocities keeps growing in the backyard of our hearts. My father once said, no amount of water can cleanse the dirt in our hands or the mud on our feet. So tell papa I won't be home tonight and tell mama not to have my food warmed I'm eating out today. My chest hammers with guilt. My conscience pounds with shame. Tell Ozani she to stop crying. Tell Otusha to forgive me the wedding Ogboba is postponed. We are now on the edge of war with an enemy with no guns, planting evil forests in our souls and venom on our tongues. In this land, our forefathers built unitedly. But this poem is not about those sins. This poem is about forgiveness, love, hope and dreams. About a world where we hold hands instead of guns. A world where we hug to keep each other warm. Because today, I come to this place where flowers blossom like daily jubilation, where trees dance to the sound of the wind and rain washes away the glory of the past. You and I can be like these flowers in the garden, flourishing in harmony in a world of color riots. You and I can dance to the rhythm of love and eat from the bowl of peace. You and I can twinkle together like the stars in the sky, 